So my relationship with Destiny over the past year or so, well, hasn't really been there. It fell to bits way before this and it got to a stage now where I just couldn't play this game anymore. The only videos I've made on Destiny 2 over the last year or so are the reasons why I can't play the game no more and the reasons why I don't want to play the game anymore. But I've always said, Lightfall, I'm going to give a chance. I mean, it just it's just a major DLC. It could change the game for the better. And well, today, I speak about my experience after playing 5 or so hours as a non-Destiny 2 content creator and what I actually think about this DLC. Now, the reason I actually fell out of love with the game was because of how much I was covering it. I was covering this game to a point of just me. I don't even know, guys. It just it burnt me out. And it got to a stage where I just couldn't do it no more. I mean, I was probably covering it more than anybody else. Doing all these top five videos, every guide you can imagine. Playthroughs, weekly, nightfalls, live PvP gameplays. I mean, I was posting videos upon videos every single day. And it got to a stage where I just couldn't do it no more. Not because the game was bad. Anyone who says this game is bad, anyone who says Destiny 2 is a bad game, is an utter idiot. Because it's far from a bad game. It's one of the best games out there as a whole package, no doubt about that. But I got to a stage where I'd played it so much I couldn't do it no more. It meant I lost followers, it meant I lost money, a lot of money. It meant I lost repute. I didn't, you guys know how it goes. I just got to a stage I didn't care. I said this in my last video where I can't play it anymore. Uh, but yeah, now I did try with season 16 or 17, 18 and 19. I tried coming on to the start of the season because I wanted to get prepped for Lightfall. But again, the seasons for me, that seasonal content, it just felt like a template that was working upon. Uh, basic. This is a copy and paste of the season before, changing a few things there, resetting everybody's power, grinding it all again. I just couldn't do it guys, I really couldn't do it. And another point as well was, it's just, I was so lost. I was coming back to the game, I just felt so far behind. I didn't have a clue what was going on. Story-wise, I didn't know what was going on. In regards to armor, weapons, crafting weapons. I mean, I, it's, it was that f long ago guys since I played. I don't even have Galahorn. <laughs> I never crafted a weapon. That's how long ago it's been uh, since I actually come on and play this game properly. So again, me jumping on for season 17, 18 or 19, you can imagine how lost I'm going to be. And the fact as well is there's just no direction. There was no direction. I'd jump into the game, start the season. I just wouldn't know what to do uh, because I'd missed so much as well. I was just, it's just, it was just, no, nah, a big no, no. But I was hoping and I was hoping it would come with light forward that would change all of this, make things easier to navigate, make things easier for the returning player. And I'm absolutely, I'm sick. Well, I've just put my controller down. I've been playing it for about five or six hours straight. And I'm happy to say they've changed so much. I mean, I'm guessing these changes will come for, uh, for non DLC owners, non light four owners. But they've changed so much, added great additions, made things much more simpler. Uh, and this is coming from somebody who just hasn't played for so long. I, I'm, I mean, I'm still a, a bit confused here and there about certain things. Don't get it twisted, but the majority of the game now, I kind of get. I kind of get what I got to do. I know what I got to do next. And that's a major. You know what the, the selling point for me was? I'll tell you straight now. Uh, I have to buy these DLCs now. I mean, my relationship with Bungie is just completely gone. It's flat. It's beyond flat i ain't known as a destiny content creator no more i don't get nothing free from them no more uh so yes if i wanted to play this dlc like 99.9 percent .9 of you guys i had to pay for this dlc so we are in the same boat people so this isn't coming from someone who's backed by bungie to say good shit eh -eh. and you guys know either way even when i was backed by bungie and used to send me nice goodies i'd still say what i thought i didn't give a crap but hey so yeah i had to pay for this dlc a major selling point for me was as soon as I switched the game on, loaded into Lightfall, I got like a recap, you know, like previously on the blacklist. I'd missed so much of the story, I didn't know what was going down. But there's like a short snippet, probably 35 seconds long. I think it was Savala speaking. And it recapped me on a lot of the story that I'd missed. People were saying, go and watch a buy video. Go and watch a, a, a mailing games video. People, I ain't got hours to sit there and watch them. I ain't sitting there watching people talk about a story that I've missed. I just ain't doing that. A short little recap was perfect. And it, it I mean, like, I missed a lot of story. And there's still things I didn't know. But the recap was great. I'm not as confused as I was now. And then I got into the game. And I just thought, well, what? oh, this has changed. There's so much changed here. Things have got much more simpler. They've added the addition of Guardian rank, which I absolutely love. That's a great addition. 
navigating the menus is much much easier knowing what i have to do next is much much easier and another thing i'm, I'm i ain't even talking about the dlc yet people i'm just talking about the general changes to the game changes i was hoping was going to come with this dlc and they are they're here and it's one of the main reasons why i couldn't play previously it's all changed now it's a lot more if you're watching this video you haven't brought this dlc you haven't played destiny in, i don't know a year or so i mean it's a great place to start now i mean even if you don't buy lightfall jump back into the game and just see how it feels for you if you're enjoying it purchase it if not turn it off and uninstall it but another thing i loved about it as well is it's a fresh start for everybody yes i know at the start of every season it's more or less the same thing but this feels like an even fresher start because the whole foundations of the game have changed uh, and the way it works has changed and the way you earn mod everything's changed mods what well, i see i think the way it was before in season 18 the way mods and, and that were it's just so much has changed there's a different menu there now which i've never seen before so if that was there before guys i'm just an idiot Ex ignore that <laughs> But yeah, it's so much has changed. And again, it feels like a fresh start. Everyone's on the equal playing field. Yes, I know people have got sneaky ways of earning fast XP. I don't know if you can still save bounties anymore. Can you do that for the previous season? Can you do it with engrams? Can you just cash in all those engrams and get up their levels quicker? But that don't matter to me anymore. You know, I didn't care a shit about that. It's just, that's just what people do these days. People want to have that top rank. They want to show it off on social media and Reddit and Facebook and Twitter. And yeah. I'll let you into a little secret, people. No one gives a shit. But either way. But yeah, it's a fresh start and I absolutely love that. And yes, I know I've missed a lot still. Yes, I know there's so many things I haven't got. But what I'm seeing now, what I'm learning now with Destiny 2, it's definitely, definitely in a better spot for players like me. So what about the DLC? Well, the DLC, I'm loving. Now, this could come from a place where I'm not playing it, thinking about it and trying to think about videos to make. I'm playing it as a player. I'm playing it just with my legs up on my desk. Sitting here, got it on legendary mode. It's a challenge. I love that kind of challenge. I'm just chilling, playing it. Playing it solo, by the way. Because 99% of my friends that used to play with me, uh, the clans died. Um, I've probably got two people on my entire friends list who play this game still. One works in a different time zone. The other one uh, has work. Has to go to bed earlier. Has to, it can't play. It plays in the mornings. It don't play in the evenings. So, yeah. I'm basically playing it solo and I'm absolutely loving it, taking my time. But from what I've seen, the, the DLC is pretty good. I'm not going to say it's the best thing. I'm not going to get carried away and hype it up. Oh, it's better than the Taken King. It's better than the Witch Queen. I don't, nah, I'm not going to say that shit. All I'm saying is I'm enjoying it. The new subclass, I experienced it for the first time. I was actually recording live as well. I normally have my uh, mic set up when I'm playing these kind of games for the first time. Oh, I loved it. I'll probably upload that video as well. My experience with a, with a new subclass. The grab hook is so good. It's so good, man. It's so good. The new um, planets, I, made, I can't even remember what it's called. I can't remember what the new subclass is called. It's just my mind's a blank. Nothing's written down. I barely script a video these days. So I'm just, I'm just shooting. I'm just shouting. But yeah, the DLC is... It, for me so far and what I've experienced, it's great. And with all the additions, all the changes and all the things they've added, I'm probably going to get back into it. Now, in regards to creating content for the game, it's probably something I'm not going to do on a regular basis. I mean, if you guys want to see anything specific, if you want to see those live PvP gameplays of me absolutely raging like a little bitch, or me trying to do Nightfalls on a weekly basis, I know it's not the same as what it was in Destiny 1, a lot has changed, but I mean, if you guys want it, I may as well bring it. And it's not even like I'm short of games to play. That's how you know this game, this DLC is good, people. I'm still playing Atomic Heart. Love that game. I'm still playing Hogwarts Legacy. Still got much to do in that. Love that game. But right now, all I want to do is play Light 4. I've literally put my controller down to record this because I just want to get these thoughts off my head. But I'm, all I'm thinking about now is getting back into the game <laughs> and just completing the Lightfall story. So, yeah. My initial thoughts on the DLC, my initial thoughts on Destiny now, post Lightfall, I'm enjoying it. How long that lasts, we will see. But the many reasons why I couldn't play this game anymore seem to be solved for the most part. And hopefully, from this moment forward, with Bungie and what they're doing, how they incorporate new things into the game, I hope they look back on what they've done with Lightfall, the additions they've added, the changes they've made for the better, and somehow managed to incorporate these kind of things into new seasons that are no doubt coming. But yes, guys, my initial thoughts on Destiny 2 post Lightfall. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.